Hey, what's up guys? Casey here back with another update for you. Do you have a third generation full-size Bronco? Is your tire carrier on the back stiff and groany when you go to open it? Does it just uh, big up like, like every time you go to open it and you see the, uh, the passenger side rear quarter panels flexing under the uh, effort? Well, that's how mine was. And I know that a lot of them are that way. If you're on the uh, Bronco forums, you probably already know about this little trick, but I wanna show you what I did to combat this terrible, terrible, unusable tire carrier on the Bronco. So let me take you out there and show you what I got going on. Come on, let's go this way. All right guys, so the trick to this smooth operation lies in these bronze bushings from McMaster Car. From the factory, the Broncos have uh, like a nylon bushing and um, with time they wear away and they fall apart. People grease them, which makes them sticky. Uh, oil light bronze is the way to go. McMaster car, part number 6659K32. They're a 16 millimeter bushing. I also um, replaced my pins, which were severely rusted, with some uh, grade 10.9 16 millimeter bolts that I did shorten, and I put little uh, kind of low profile nylock lock nuts on the bottom. Uh, you don't crank those down at all. They are literally just a hinge pin. One other little tip, you can't really tell by looking, but I plasti dip the handle so it's nice and comfortable for the grip. Um, went through and greased up all the hinge mechanism and everything else. And then these little plastic bushings that the release handle pivots on were completely shot too. Um, those are a doorman part. They're actually a throttle shaft bushing. I'll put a link in the description to where you can find those. Um, but man, I tell you, that whole assembly is just night and day different. Oh, also, um, the striker bushing is an energy suspension part number. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Um, that takes up the clearance in between your catch, uh, which eliminates all of the rattling. And then I went ahead and just machined a uh, little aluminum collar to replace the plastic one that had long since failed, so. I mean, when it's on there, I'm shaking the car right now. I don't know if you can tell. It's not going to rattle. It's not going to make any noise. This by far drove me crazier than anything else on this Bronco, aside from maybe the fact that it doesn't run. Um, and now I fixed it. And you can too, McMaster car. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching again this week. I hope you found this video informative. I know that these uh, Broncos, these full-size Broncos are plagued by a sticking rear tire carrier, and this is the fix. I'll put links in the description to the uh, bronze bushings that I used, as well as a description of the size and length of the bolts and the doorman part number for the little plastic bushings on the handle. Oh yeah, and don't forget Plasti Dip. Um, it's not just for painting your wheels. The uh, original rubberized tool coating is really handy stuff. They still sell at the hardware store. Good stuff. This is what Plasti Dip is all about. The spray can stuff is new. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this week. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, all 1,020 of you. I'm so flattered and humbled. Um, be sure you hit that like button if you like what you saw in today's video. Hit me up in the comments to let me know what you thought about it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell because that helps me keep the content coming to you week after week. Thanks again, and I'll see you next week.